The first lady of a country is a title that is usually reserved for the wife of a head of state or the chief executive. But Pakistan, it seems, is making a departure from tradition. For the first time in the country's history, it will be a daughter and not the wife of the president who will be getting this formal title. The lady in question will be Asifa Bhutto. Asifa is the daughter of the newly appointed Pakistan president, Asifa Ali Zadari, and his late wife, the former Pakistani Prime Minister, Benazir Bhutto. Now, for the people of Pakistan, the 31-year-old has been a familiar face besides Zardari in Pakistani politics. On Sunday, Asifa was very much in attendance when Zardari was sworn in as the 14th president of Pakistan. Now, Zardari's late wife, Benazir Bhutto, was assassinated in the year 2007, remember, and the position of first lady had been vacant in his previous innings as the Pakistan president from 2008 to 2013. So what exactly are the first lady's duties really and what is the role that Asifa is supposed to be performing? Well, first ladies usually perform duties that are ceremonial, but they are extremely critical in the social and political calendar of any head of state. First and foremost, Asifa will be the hostess of the presidential house. That means she will be organizing official ceremonies and functions of the state. In some cases, she will be doing it along with her father, the president, or more importantly, she will be even attending occasions in place or events in place of the president. Now, according to media reports, the role for Asifa is, keeping in, is in keeping with Zardari's intentions to keep all his three children, his son Bilawal, daughters Bhaktawar and Asifa, well entrenched with very vital roles in the political landscape of Pakistan. Asifa made her political debut in the year 2020. And since then, she has been an active campaigner for her brother Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. And also going by the Pakistani media reports, Asifa Bhutto has been seen alongside her father more often than her brother Bilawal or even sister Bhaktawar. In fact, according to reports, in the year 2012, Asifa is said to have accompanied her father when he visited social rights activist Malala Yousafzai in Birmingham. Malala, who was then a 15-year-old, was shot in the head by a Taliban gunman and was being treated in the UK hospital. Zardari and Asifa met Malala and the doctors who were treating her. And if reports are to be believed, Asifa comes to her role as first lady with plenty of experience. For one, she has been a constant presence at several political ceremonies, galas, rallies that have been addressed by both her siblings and her father. Notably, Asifa has also had a high profile role as polio eradication ambassador in the country. Remember, polio eradication is a very significant but sensitive health mission in Pakistan. It is often under attack by religious extremists who look at it with suspicion. And in that, Asifa has been a familiar face to the general masses. She is also no stranger, by the way, to the riskier side of public life. Accompanying her brother, Bilawal, in a public procession, she was once hit by a media drone. Asifa sustained minor injuries, but according to reports, bravely pressed ahead with the rally. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.